Welcome back to Tetracan Super Monoblock. Today I'm going to be showing you how to open the case on your Porta Studio 488 Mark II by Tascam. Before you flip over and get at the screws on the rear side of this, there are two screws in here that you want to remove. These are narrow, you'll need a quite a you'll need a smaller than average crosshead screwdriver to get them. Don't lose them, they're the only two like that on the machine. Although I was able to get the transport to respond without these screws in there. I've worked on other models where if you don't have those screwed in, actually the cassette player won't work at all, so they are really important. Much like the 424 Mark II that I recently shot a video on, um, there's a confusing array of holes that look like they might contain screws but actually don't. So I've gone ahead and removed all the screws and I've put coloured tape beside the holes that actually contain a screw. Um, the colour of the tape corresponds to the type of screw that I found in the hole. So um, you're going to see that there's mainly red tape, but then there's two places where there's yellow tape. Red tape corresponds to longish wide ferrule screws like this, and they're wide ferrule because they're going into plastic mounting posts. But then there's also a couple of narrower ferrule ones here at the back because they're screwing into a metal plate. And it's difficult to get everything in at the same angle. Let's talk through it then. There's three screws down each side, one at the center at the front near the headphone socket, and these two here, which are sort of situated between the cassette section and the mixer section. There are two either side of the mains cable, and then these uh, metal type screws are along this edge here where the yellow tape is. Like most of these uh, plastic two section 90s Porter Studios, you would open by tipping forward like that, almost like a car bonnet. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that falling. But what I was about to say is, as you do that, your pitch control knob is going to fall off, so make sure you don't lose that. Again, similarly to other plastic Tascams from the 1990s, you're going to have some wires that are connecting the mixer board to the power and record amp sections situated here-ish, and then you're going to have a larger number of cables right down at this edge, which are connecting the mixer and the transport buttons to control areas down here. We've got one, two, three, four cables to remove here. Uh, they're all fairly strong, so you can just pull them with your fingers. That will now tip like that. You can see that we have a further one, two, three. Oh, I said more cables, but it's actually less. Yeah, it's three there. At that point, the two sections will be completely separate from each other, facilitating further disassembly. Alright, more disassembly videos on this model coming up soon. Help me help you by subscribing. Um, help me to help me by using the affiliate links in the description of this video. Thanks, see you soon.